I have no idea how the other one died, but I mean, um, okay. I'll take it. Be a reasonable grat. I can't just run back to the city and pick you up a new ice cream cake. Go wipe out every last one of those ox serves. I had one tiny luxury in the midst of, midst of this hellish wasteland. Those bastards ruined it. Someone is going to die for that. Oh, I hear you. We're kind of busy trying to find that noble silk. Oh, Harmonia. Perfect timing. Some gangly machines called Oxserve stole Gret's ice cream cake. She's... Well, she's not happy. Once our little princess gets going, there's no talking sense to her. I need some help. Could I ask you to either gather the noble silk we need, or go take out those Oxserves? Oh, I wish I could check, uh, if I already had it. I'm fighting. Screw it. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll allow you to be my top servant now. Well, maybe second to Adelbert. Now go show those ganglion dogs what happens when you interrupt a lady's sacred snack time. Yeah, sorry. She may seem a little crazy, but he's a true soldier underneath. Try not to judge her too hard. Excuse you, Adelbert. How dare you speak of me that way? Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, besides, I actually like crazy. Anyway, thanks, Harmonia. It's in your hands now. I only got to work on our job in the meantime. Alright, acquire an ice cream cake from the Oxserve Sivo in Silvalum's Badir Basin. Am I strong enough for doing that? Who knows? I just have my fingers crossed that I am, and uh... I did that. Hmm. Alright, I'll go ahead and save here again. I originally came here because I was going to put in data probes. But uh... Okay, so I can't get that one because it's level 5. This one's like way up above. Or was that one the level 5? Hmm... I'm gonna double check just in case. Oh, is that the... That's the tyrant that I need to take out for the uh, segment recon, I think. That's what that is. Uh oh. Okay, time to go. Time to go, time to go, time to go. Maybe this is different from that, uh, other one. Uh-oh. It is different! Okay. Here we go. That's it. I disembarked my skull in a panic just in case so it wouldn't go down. Okay, well, here's a new data probe. Sweet. I will take it. Oh, my Meranium's capped right now. Huh, okay. In which case, I'm gonna go back to, uh, ULA here really quickly. So I'm gonna do. Uh, maybe I need to uh, be in an area like this to see the. Uh... Yeah. So my mining. Uh... Is that more storage than I have? Wait. So my total storage right now is uh twenty one six hundred. Uh, so it's just very very slightly over my total storage. Huh. Well. Let's see here. Yeah, let's go ahead and invest some uranium here. There we go. Oh, still not enough. Darn. Darn. Oh, yeah. I was going to check for other other stuff that I might like the look of. Is what I was going to do. So, let's see here. What kind of... I mean, we could go with, like, the good old swimmer dude kind of stuff. That's what we could do. The survival no rack isn't half bad. Is there a recolor of it, maybe? Later down the line. Because it's not half bad. Oh, the purple's kind of cool. Can represent with Waluigi colors. That's what we can do. Hmm. Combat breaker looks kind of cool as well. Combat encaser kind of neat as well. I'm gonna be honest. Um. Oh, I like the green on that. These are getting pretty expensive now. Oh, that's cool looking, though. Hmm. It's a cool looking one. And it has green. I love the color green. Hmm. When it comes to stats and stuff. Not quite as defensive, but I get more ranged attack as a thing. And more TP. Max TP up three. Huh. Interesting. So maybe it should be what I actually wear. Maybe, maybe. 
Anything else look cool? Oh, that looks cool too. It's actually really darn cool. Yeah, I kind of like this one as well. Blue shirt isn't half bad. Oh, the blue one of that looks kind of neat too. Yeah, I know I can't afford a whole lot of these things, but uh, wait, I can afford this, but it's just level 35 is all it is. Max TP up four. Huh. Interesting. Level 35. Welcome back, Guzma. Welcome back to the shenanigans. I wonder if I can get it and just like equip it in fashion armor despite not being that level. Because I kind of like that green more than the uh more than the other green. Where was the last Norak? Yeah, I do like that other green a bit more. Look at that. I like it. I'm not high enough level for it at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, I do like these ones as well. I do like the look of those ones too, quite frankly. So this is all the way up to level 45 now. Oh, that's kind of cool too. How far are you, are you into Xenoblade X? We've completed chapter six. Once you finally get proper time, I have to catch up through the other streams you missed or watch on YouTube when the other parts are uploaded. Yeah, it's going to be a while before the other parts are uploaded with the... Uh, daily upload schedule being a bit behind when we're committing to games hard like this but yeah last time we basically just did chapter six and we got our skills is a thing where you uh i guess you weren't present during the part in the stream where it was revealed what we actually are but i know that during like earlier that stream you were saying that like you had an itch that or had heard around that you know we weren't quite as we seemed oh that's cool too something that we probably upgrade to way down the line i imagine Huh. Interesting. So, where was that level 35 one? Let's see here. So, of the Norax. Because I kind of like the look of that, I'm going to be honest. So, if I purchase it, can I put it into fashion wear despite not being that level yet? Halfway through the chapters, probably not halfway through the game, not even close. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, we're at 23 hours in there. Let's see here. So, in terms of ground gear... Let's go ahead and change fashion gear. Dang, I can't even put it in fashion gear until I'm the right level. Uh, miss what you said, Andrew Wilson TV, and has the volume up really loud? I know that you were present in the stream where, like, the... What's really going on was revealed. You weren't there when it happened, but you were there earlier in the stream, and you were like, oh... I've heard that, like, something bigger is going on here in some way. And I was like, yeah, there kind of is, but I'm not going to say what it is. Well, it's been revealed now if you just want the, uh, if you just straight up want the answer. Let's see here. I might just get that Norax set, even if I can't put it on for now. I mean, I could always go back to putting on my Swimmer Dude stuff for now, is what I could do. So let's see here. So the stuff that would match with the, uh, I assume it'd be that that would match with it, right? I mean, we can find out later when we actually get to level 35. Because I really want that look now. Is the thing. So maybe I should just change, like, my fashion armor to, like, swimmer dude again for now? Is what I could do? Maybe? I don't know. Change fashion gear. Like, hold on. Um, whoops. Wrong thing. We're Bob there. So let's see here. Can I? I can filter these. Um, oh, well. So hold on, where's the uh, stuff? Forerunner's uniform. Oh, school blazer. Limited diving body wear. There's that one. I can put on a tank top. Uh. Hmm. I don't quite like the tattoo. Oh man, that might be the only thing above that I can put on there to uh. <laughs> Maybe I will go back to it. Yeah, everybody's a robot. Is the thing. With real bodies meant to be in the in the life hold. Let's go back to swimming. Screw it. Back to swimming we go. What if I just keep the pants on like that? Look at him. Look at him. Alright, what kind of cool things do I have here, huh? <laughs> Just do this. <laughs> uh, that could be pretty funny. Or this. <laughs> I'm actually tempted to. Uh -uh. 
I might actually do it for a little while just because it's funny, you know, while kitty ears. Or just this, maybe instead of like being ready for swimming, I should just have like <laughs> still the full pants on. Kind of like this idea now. Like, <laughs> hold on. What options do we have here, huh? Um, <laughs> uh, also, I'll just sort. Just in case it wasn't already sorted, I assume it already would be, but, um... I mean, that looks pretty cool, too, but, uh... <laughs> um... Or I could always go with this. <laughs> it is tempting. Now, maybe I'll just stick like this for a while. <laughs> Look at him. Look at this man here. Had a sneaky suspicion they were robots, some of the armor they made just seemed a little too suspicious. Wait, was it not like implied to you online or anything like that? That was just like a hunch you had? Look at him. <laughs> Who's gonna screw with me now, huh? Nobody. Nobody's gonna be screwing with me now. Alright, let's see about this thing where Bob over in Silvalum. So that's over there. This was the level 5 thing. So maybe I'll go here for now. And then we go west, I guess. Then we go west, west. This is what we do. I do need to build up my TP again, though. Because for, like, the spicier fights. My skull is stronger by default, but my ground build is stronger in overdrive. So if I can build up some TP for that purpose. It was just a hunch you had? Really? That's very crazy. Because, yeah, the, uh... The story is supposed to be that, like, their real bodies are in the life hold, and turns out they're all robots. Because, uh, because if you're trekking around in space for however long, then you'd have to worry about, like, aging and dying. You don't have to worry about that if you're all robots. And, uh, then it's, like, easier to transport a whole lot more people and stuff like that. If they're all just, like, robots with their consciousnesses being, like, put into said robots. Or, like, shared wirelessly with said robots, which is why we need to go find the life hold before the bad guys do. Because if they destroy it, or it runs out of battery even, then we all die, essentially. Like, uh, once the life hold runs out of battery, everybody just kind of dies. This is the thing. Look, they were either robot characters, kind of like Poppy from Xenoblade 2. Oh, this is the guy in question. He's level 32. I need to build up more TP, don't I? Oh, there's that probe. Oh. Can I try to get that in the meantime? Maybe? But yeah, we're, uh... A bit more realistic of robots than Poppy, but yeah. Yeah, so it kind of made sense when it came to like the whole space exploration thing in there. There's no way I can get up this, right? There's no way. Oh, that's so close. Come on. Ah. Oh. There's no way this works. Oh my good gracious, it works. I'm such a pro gamer. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. Of course, it's mechanical level. Oh, th wait, this is the mechan- Oh, this is that one. How about that other one, then? Okay, these guys are way too high level for me to be getting my TP off of them. My primer is barely even recharged. <sighs> hmm... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. That guy would absolutely shred me right now. Let's maybe not do that. Okay, cool. Well, maybe I can get this other probe in the meantime. Or maybe I can find, like, some weaker enemy that I can build up my TP off of. Because maybe I can fight that high-level dude, if only I, uh, built my TP. Yeah, it only lets me jump a certain height. We only get Skell Flight later on. Once we get Skell Flight, we'll be able to go, like, anywhere. But... We don't actually get Skell Flight for like another several chapters. So we get Skells after chapter six, as we recently did, and you get Skell Flight after chapter nine, if I recall correctly. So over this way? Ah, over this way. Level 35 is still a bit strong for me to actually be beating you guys. I can use a primer to get like a smidge more TP, but I'm gonna need somebody to actually go up against to fight and win. To get some TP, I think. What level am I at? Um, 26. I'm at level 26 right now. Oh! You guys. I think I have more range to put the probe in when I'm in a skull. And enemies in this game are kind of blind sometimes. 
So even though they'll attack me if they see me, they might just not see me. If I just... Someone else saw me. And saw the data probe really quickly. I'm out of here. See you later. Whee! Okay. Well, there's another data probe installed. <laughs> okay. Well, that worked out well, didn't it? <laughs> My good gracious. Okay, there's got to be something around here I can fight, right? But yeah, so you have about 19 plus hours in this game and only level 26, but the max level in this game is 60. It's not like it's 99 like, uh, like the other Xenoblade games. Max level in this game is 60, but enemies can go up to level 99. Reason for that being how you get stronger is basically by making your skills better, is the idea. Though you should be able to take out most, if not all, enemies in the game on the ground if you make strong enough builds. But yeah, the leveling up stops at level at level 60 is a thing. No, the max level for everyone is 60. The max level for you as well. Yeah, I don't really want to fight you there. Huh. Yeah, that. Hmm. So, well, have I not installed this one? Oh, I haven't installed this one. I was about to say, this doesn't look like one of the installed ones. Okay, well. Apparently, I never installed that one. Don't know why I never installed that one, but apparently I never did. Well, it's installed now. Cool. Just checking my Moranium from time to time. You're a level 41 Tyrant. Yeah, who can I take on? I mean... I can always just go to, like, here and take on some low-level enemies to build my TP. Yeah, good old stream delay, huh? Guzma, have you yet gotten the chance to see us do crazy overdrive things? By chance, let's take on you. Is what we'll do. Is what we'll do here. This should hopefully get us the TP that we need to, uh... to face the actual high-level Dudo, because... You know, I might not be able to beat that high level dudo, but maybe I can if I use overdrive. I don't want to use an aura right now. Heard the highest level enemy in this game is level 99, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We actually saw that enemy during the last stream in a stream because it uh, it appears during the one of the story events of chapter 6 there. So after chapter 6, you have uh, these... Or during chapter 6, you have these baddies that are attacking you, and the one that actually comes and munches the baddies and helps you out is the level 99 super boss of the game, who is a Telethia is the thing. A Xenoblade Chronicles 1 Telethia. Whether that's like canon as like Zanza's cells or whether it's just for funsies, who knows? Could be either or. Because like, there's a decent bit in this game that's clearly in just for funsies for references to Xenoblade 1 and there's a decent bit where it's like, okay, that's definitely not connected there. Like freaking Lin having the Monado hairpin, for example. Like that's definitely a for fun nod. There's no way that her Monado hairpin is canon. But the Telethia existing in the world? Now that's, uh, that's a bit intriguing. How much of a chain attacks, how much insane damage you can deal with it. Yeah, freaking. Overdrive is basically solo chain attacks is what you can imagine it as. Just imagine chain attacks, except only one person needs to do it instead of like the group. <laughs> Essentially, solo chain attacks is what it is. And now that I have 4,600 TP there, I might be able to beat that one boss off in the distance, maybe. I'd have to play freaking the best Xenoblade Chronicles X of my life to beat it at this level. I have to spam Ghost Walker like crazy. But it is possible. But it is possible, though. Alright, I got a quality fuse for some quest of some sort. Ah, I can just fast travel over here. That's nice. Alright, I'll try it. I will try it. I'm probably gonna probably gonna fail, though. But if I can, uh, if I can pull it off, that'd be pretty darn cool. Look how beautiful it is. How bootyful this game is. Whoa, I'm really glad you didn't see me there. Okay. Let's see here. Ox serve Saivo, huh? All right, let's get in here. Level 32, I'm level 26. I can do this, right? All right, let's see here. Why can't I, uh... Oh, I need to shoot first. Okay. 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 Okay, I can barely see you. All right, the misses with the Ghost Walker, good. Let's see how much I can get my count up. Hopefully I didn't aggro anyone else with that. Okay, I didn't or anything. That's good. I should have waited for Primer to be at the ready first, is what I should have done. Okay, well. Oh, that was from the front, gosh darn it. Oh, dang it, uh-oh. 
That was close. Dang, I suck! Crud! Oh, I need to be spamming Ghost Walker way more. I just need to be using Ghost Walker whenever it's available is what I gotta do. Okay, from the side, please. Okay. Pip of you. Come on. It is a very beautiful game indeed, for sure. Okay. Yeah, I need to be using Ghost Walker more often. Oh, this is the back. Gosh darn it. Okay. Pip of you. All right, we have enough TP for another overdrive if need be. Yeah, I can't even use that there. Okay. Into Ghost Walker. Okay. My entire team is down except for Lin now. We're at max overdrive though. Nice, we got from the side. Yeah, I can't use my melee weapons. You're a... Uh... Okay, now it's just me soloing the, soloing the enemy here. I need to be spamming Ghost Walker some more. Okay. This is possible. It's a bit sketchy, but it's possible. From the side. Guess it doesn't... It's not as important to be from the side at this point. Keep using Ghost Walker. Go ahead and Violent Streak. You are so hard to see. You are so hard to see. Why have I not activated my aura this entire time? I'm just now realizing. Whoops. I should have activated my aura 3,000 years ago. I'm dumb. Oh, I should have done Ghost Walker before doing that. It's probably fine. That's probably fine. I say raise, I get hit by something there. I'll just use this from the front. I don't care. Okay. Okay. Let's take with that other arm here. Now I can Ghost Walker again, get more decoy. Okay. I don't think I can use Stream Edge from here. I think it's a bit far. Yeah, I can't seem to get you with any melee attacks, which really sucks. Okay. Ghost Walker here to make sure that I keep on dodging attacks. Yeah, how about you don't? How about no? Done. Well, <laughs> there's the boss of that side quest that I was quite a decent bit underleveled for. More Earth aliens? Huh. First we find dinner. Now dessert comes to us. <laughs> I wouldn't mess with this guy right here who uh just overdrive basically soloed that enemy there tell the prone you do it taste good prepare to fight the prone yeah overdrive take out you as well <laughs> more fun when dessert tries to run now you will learn true meaning of hunt are they gonna be even tougher than that last dudo I probably wasn't meant to do this quest at this point in the game was I oh my good gracious um my health is really low this is um actually really not good. This is actually really not good. My teammates are immediately dying. Oh crud. Okay, this is even more sketchy than before. Okay. Okay, this is fine, right? This is fine, right? Everything is a-okay. Okay, I'm gonna need to spam Ghost Walker. Elma's still alive, interestingly enough. Okay. Go ahead and use my aura. Okay, this should get my count like really up. Nice. Oh my good gracious, I am about to die. Soul voice for a little bit of HP. Ghost Walker right now, Ghost Walker right now. Oh, they have multi-hit moves, this is not good. This is actually really bad. I don't think I can do this actually. I'll take out one at least. Okay. Yeah, darn it. They have too many multi-hit moves because they have like the rapid shots, so my Ghost Walker can't jank them over. Ah, <sighs> darn it. I mean, if we went in with like full HP right from the get-go, then I might be able to do it. Rather than the way that we started. But, I mean, at the same time. At the same time. <laughs> I don't really know if it's feasible. Because the reason I was able to jank over that last boss was with a good old ghost walker decoy shenanigans going on and it seems like it didn't have that many moves that would like hit all that much so my decoy was good enough to deal with that was the case but because those guys all had like their guns and their crazy multi-hit moves my ghost walker would kind of have its decoys run out like super fast dang it that wasn't from the back was kind of the unfortunate case so i couldn't quite do that there i mean i could try it out with with my skill at the beginning 
and then uh you know come out of my skill and then do overdrive shenanigans maybe maybe it might be possible but that'd be even more sketchy sketch but yeah you should be able to run away from enemies anytime during a battle but that's also one that i need to do like for a for a quest but yeah the thing is just to remind you of the thing that malice has on his chest not just his core but the surrounding design around his core what my freaking uh this is just part of this outfit is all this is this is just part of the like swimming gear outfit thing where bob i'm fairly certain all right yeah let's go ahead and uh what can i target the appendage maybe cool okay well well go ahead and do this yeah because i'm gonna need my tp up here i'll try it one more time but otherwise i am probably just gonna have to come back to this quest later because this quest is probably you know intended to be done when i'm at a much higher level you know it's probably not intended to be done at my current level i don't think Boobity bop. good old ghost walker one of the craziest arts in the game oh there's a whole bunch of dudes that want to kill me now oh dang it it just changed to the back yeah, so my overdrive is at the ready now. But yeah, I'm gonna want to have, like, a decent bit of TP to spare. Is what I am gonna want. Preferably. Preferably in a perfect universe. Oop. Yeah, I'm sure we can do it over there, but... I'm very, very sketched out by it. Very, very sketched out indeed. Don't tempt me to use this TP art. I'm not doing it. I gotta save my TP. The synchronized sliding slinger, always super satisfying to see. Always super satisfying. Okay. Backslash will take you out. Good old backslash. Okay. I guess I don't really need to use primer here too much, but just doing it anyway. Just doing it anyway. Okay. Stabby stab. Cool. Neat. Pew, pew, pew. So where would my skull go? Oh, I see it on the map. It's way on the left, apparently. Okay. So, let's see here. I'll try it one more time. I'll try this one one more time, but if I can't do it, then I'm just gonna have to, uh... You know, I'm just gonna have to do it when I'm at a higher level. So I could always start it out in my skull. That's what I could do. Start using some skull arts, then disembark, and then overdrive and see what I can do. Maybe? I'll try. I'll try. Please don't tell me that these robots are gonna get in the battle as well. Are the quest dudes over here? Yeah, there they are. Okay. So I can just engage them from here is what I can do. Okay, put up shields. Alright, let's just, uh... Pew! Okay. And then do this. Oh, nice. We even got the cockpit thing, Bob. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this again. Kaboom! All right, very good start. Very good start there, indeed. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I know they're tougher than they look. I know. I know. They're a few levels higher than me. So, uh... You know. Kaboom. Okay. All right, I might disembark here now. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay. We're gonna immediately start out with Ghost Walker this time. That's what I'm gonna do. Get in the middle here for Violent Streak to build up my count. Okay. Okay. Like that for a decent bit of count. Oh my goodness, the world doesn't like my craziness. Ah! The game seems to spaz out like crazy whenever I'm doing the craziest of things. Is the thing. Okay. I need to keep on using Ghost Walker as much as I can. Now that there's only two. This is in the realm of possibility, for sure. This is definitely in the realm of possibility. We'll get up to max count here in a second. Nice. Okay. Keep on spamming Ghost Walker. Okay. Okay. Pew, pew, Yeah, we totally got this. Ah, my eyes. Yeah, now you can't hit me. Now there's just one of you. What you gonna do? Let's see how much damage Stream Edge does. A whole lot. Okay. Who cares about being under-leveled? Who cares? Well, there we go. Sweet. 
<laughs> Let's go talk to uh, Mr. Dudo. Let's go report back now. Report back that we successfully did the did the quest for him. Yeah. So it seems like choosing the uh, battle rather than the collection quest worked out just fine after all. That is a bit of a relief. I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah, I knew you were alive. I was trying to jump over you, but it didn't work out. Unfortunate. Very quite unfortunate. All right, hi. I did the I did the thing. I did the thing. I showed them what for. Adelbert. Oh no, what am I supposed to do? Oh, it's you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What should I do? If I don't do something, they'll kill him. Um, what happened? Right, sorry. Adelbert got back, so we were eating dinner here. Then a whole army of those prone guys came and they... They killed him. They killed Adelbert. He was trying to shield Gret. He rushed him, but they... Would he have lived if I chose the other option? And they stuffed Gret and Fina into sacks and took them away. They fought like hell, but it didn't matter. Please, you have to save them. They're headed to the northwest. There's a cave there. It's got to be their hideout. Yeah, the fact that this was a Wii U game really is impressive. Also, now I'm curious. I'm going to look this up for the Predator and Prey thing where Bob. Let's see here. Predator and Prey. Is there a way that he lives if I choose the other option? Let's see here. Um, It doesn't really... Yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's different endings for this one at the end. Oh, well. It's probably better that way. I feel better about my decision knowing that it was inevitable then, you know? Oh, it's just right over here, huh? But yeah. Yeah, in terms of world size. In terms of world size, it definitely is. It is a very large game. I mean, Breath of the Wild was a Wii U game as well. But that's something that a lot of people forget pretty frequently. Whoops. Let's uh, not fight you. Breath of the Wild only came out two years later, was the thing. And it would have come out a year earlier if the Switch hadn't, you know, if the Switch wasn't coming out. They delayed it by another year to, uh, you know, release it on the Switch at the same time as the Wii U, so I mean. So I mean, there's that. Uh-oh, you better not take out my skill or else I am going to be so mad. No! You know, when you said Predator your Brain instantly switched to Predator, like Predator Malthus from Xenoblade 2. Now nah, the name of this quest is Predator and Prey, apparently. No! You better not. Why are you still after me? No! Wait, is it up there? Crud. It's up there. I don't know how to get up there. And there goes all my TP now. And whatever battle is up there is probably going to be even harder than the ones that we had down here. So, like, I got to go build up my TP again. How do I get up there? Don't tell me I need Skell Flight, do I? Worth of while was a Wii U game to a friend who doesn't have a Switch but owns the Wii U version. Yeah, but, uh, it was similar platform, so. Not super duper crazy that, you know, that would be possible there. Whoa! And, uh, I mean, the world of Breath of the Wild was very much helped to be made by Monolith Soft, who, uh, you know, was responsible for this world since it's a Monolith Soft game, so. In a way, it does kind of make sense. Whoa, do this. Yeah, I'm going to have to take out other dudos in order to, uh, build up my TP here, aren't I? Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, maybe I'll have to go after that guy as well. That's maybe what I might have to do. I'm not using my aura. I can't use my TP on an aura. I can't do that right now. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you could definitely, could definitely say that. Oh, darn it. There's a tyrant over here that I've never fought. Should I fight you? Is that a... No, it wouldn't be a thing for this area, but I can take you on for funsies anyway. This is what I can do. Dang, I'm bad. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, I mean... Whoa. Dang it, that wasn't quite from the back. I may as well target you first if I'm going to hit you with Violent Streak anyway. You know, may as well. Yeah, this battle will definitely, will definitely max up my TP. I see no way in which it wouldn't. To the point that maybe I should even use Stream Edge once during it, just for funsies. 
Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I'm not using overdrive during this fight. Not happening during this one. Oh. Oh. Um. Uh. Um. Just kidding. Yes, I am. Just kidding. I lied. I lied. I am doing it. Fill up a count. Well. Oh my goodness. I got a lot of enemies in the mix now. Holy crap. Okay, well, I'll build up my TP fast through this anyway, and the entire world is gonna bug the heck out my eyes! Okay. Build up count like crazy. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah, this is fine. Everything is A okay. 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 Okay, let's see how much damage this does. Okay, quite a decent bit there. Let's see if I can hit those other dudes with Violent Streak. This is what I'll do real quick. Keep on using Ghost Walker. Whoops, or not. Ghost Walker, I say. I say Ghost Walker. Okay. Get over here to hit this other dude with Violent Streak a little bit. There we go. And you're down now. Um, I don't think I'll use Stream Edge anymore. I'm going to hold on to my TP for the rest of this fight. That's what I'm going to do because I need to save it for, like, the coming battle. Is what I got to do. Okay. Time for some side slashes. Well, there we go. Hello, hello, Politico Steph. Fine, how are you doing today? Here, and I got my max TP that I wanted. Sweet. Um, I think you'll wait until February 2023 to see if a switch port of Xenoblade X is announced, then buy from the Wii U eShop shortly before its closure, if not by then, just to make extra sure. Yeah, it's always, it's possible, but who knows if it'll actually happen. I think traveling here won't bring me there, though, because it's on the upper level, right? Or wait, no, they said it was a cave, didn't they? Oh, yeah, okay. I can't bring my skull in there, though, because it is a cave. But yeah, damage numbers with a text bubble is actually super funny. You think so? Yeah, it's a cave here. Yeah, now that I have max TP, maybe this is feasible. Maybe, maybe. I am a little bit sketched out because I am under leveled for this quest, but I mean, I could get up to level 27 here. I mean, excuse me. Excuse me, coming through. Coming on through here. Looks like we've got no choice. Fine, I'll fight it. Can I take out this level uh, 32 dudo, huh? Okay. I should use Ghost Walker before I take much more, much more damage there. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to take on this one, right? Oh, was that not at the secondary cooldown? This shouldn't hit anybody else, right? I hope. There's nobody else for it to hit. Yeah, let's make sure not to get too close to, you know, proc the thing for the quest before this battle's done. We should be able to do this right. Yeah, that's what happens in this, and I think every other Xenoblade game, right? It vanishing. Is there an appendage that I can target? No? Guess not. Can't take off like the tail or anything. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I can, uh, thinking about what I need for tough battles, I wonder if I can actually level up my Ghost Walker here. It's been a while since I've, like, looked at arts and skills and stuff that I can level up. So, I uh, might just be able to, uh... What? No way! Now I gotta go build up my TP again. Unless they can kill it, like, within the next 20 seconds. If you guys take it out in the next 15 seconds, if you use some really hard-hitting arts... No, it's not happening. Now I gotta go build up my TP over again. Gosh darn it, that is so annoying. <sighs> well. Well. Because yeah, there's no way that I can do the quest thing without, uh, without overdrive. There's just no way. I'm gonna have to bring you into the mix anyway. Because I won't be able to get enough TP off of that one dudo alone. So... Get some TP from this. 
May as well use Ghost Walker. May as well. Okay. Sliding Slinger. Okay. Boobity bop. Stab, stab. Whoa, my eyes. My eyes! Do a pew. Ow! Once again, my eyes. Don't tempt me into using my TP arts. I gotta save those for the spicy spice. That's what I gotta do. Oh, we actually kind of destroy the uh, appendages pretty fast there. And they do kind of look like Mechon in a way. Some of them, huh? Some of them kind of do. Oh, I should have done this for the soul voice. Whoops. Yeah, I ran out of time for the soul voice. Ran out of time for that. Alas. Alas. Still can't get over the placement of that weapon on this enemy type. All right, well, Overdrive's at the ready. Overdrive is at least at the ready now. What? That was just out of time for the soul voice. Are you kidding me? Man. Man. Pew, pew, pew. My eyes. My eyes. Yeah, we'll get up to max TP with this. We'll get up to max TP with this battle. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Easy peasy we get there. There we go. Max TP. 4,600 as our current cap. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting to like one more level up before the, before whatever boss this is, but. But we might just be able to do it as is, I hope. <laughs> what? No! No! That's not fair! I swear, if you kill me, I'm gonna be so mad. You better not. Oh, I would have been so mad. That would have really sucked. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so I have a decent bit of battle points. So, yeah, let's reduce the cooldown even more of Ghost Walker. And then to max it, yeah, I'm going to need 72 battle points for Decoy 5. The lowest cooldown. Um, so that won't improve, like, the TP, but it will improve the critical power. Um, this will improve the TP of critical hits. And this will improve the TP of attacking from the side there. Okay, so sliding slinger is probably the way to go here. In that case. Hello, hello, Nishara. How are you doing today? Now you mentioned that Tales of Arise took a ton of inspiration from Xenoblade 1 and 2. Yeah, did you just find, like, another new connection thing, Rebob? All the TP things together like that. This is what we'll do. Um. Huh. Sure, Ghost Factory is probably one of the really good ones to max out. Here, I'll do that as well. And then... Just level up some of these. Kind of semi-randomly, I guess. At the end of the game, both worlds merged and became one, but the game released months ago and development started long ago. But Xenoblade 3 seems like a merge of Xenoblade 1 and 2, almost like how the worlds from Tales of Arise merged. Oh, when you were saying both worlds merged and became one, I thought you were talking about Xenoblade 1 and 2. Are you talking about... Do you mean, like, multiple worlds merged? Because I'm pretty sure there was more than two that, like, came together when it came to Tales of Arise. I'm fairly certain. Oh, I have not set up anything with Arena at all. Is the thing. Huh. Okay, let's let's see through her things, because I have not done anything with her. No wonder she was always dying so fast. Whoops. I probably should have realized. I probably should have realized that. Also, Nishara coming out of nowhere something for three months. I'm doing fine. Thank you for all this entertaining content. Hey. I'm just appreciative that you freaking enjoy this content here and find it entertaining. So for three months in a row, I appreciate the resub there, Nishara. Welcome back to Team Enharmonic. Enjoy another month from the emotes and the sub badges and all that fun stuff. And I'm turning the camera back off again so I can properly show the stuff here. Also, I'm dropping frames again, and I don't know why, but I am. All right, let's see here. So actually, let's listen to the text -to speech bot first. I'm doing fine. Thank you for all this entertaining content. <laughs> no problemo. I don't, I'm dropping a lot of frames right now. Like, a lot of frames. Oh, of course, right when I show it, it's... Oh, no, it's going back. Oh, well. You don't need video quality to understand, like, the menus, so it's fine. If there's any time for it to drop frames, it's right now. Also, it's fine now. Oh, never mind. It changed its mind. So, let's see here. Dispel deals ether damage and randomly moves one buff from the target. Inflicts sleep. How good is sleep in this game? Um, boost potential, boost range attack, and boost ether resistance. Okay, is that an aura? Yeah, it's an aura. Okay. So you should at least have one aura on. Removes debuffs and restores HP. Um, recovers the target's HP. 
Okay, so yeah, I can cast that on to whoever the heck. Deals thermal damage, inflicts blaze, and versus topple targets, and boosts damage. Interesting, Furious Blast deals weapon damage and boosts damage in melee combos, restores HP and grants evasion up. Okay, nice, nice. Electric damage and inflicts blackout. Interesting. Um, yeah, I think that's probably most likely a coincidence there. Let's see here. Boosts debuff resistance and auto revives on incapacitation. Oh, that might not ha be half bad for uh you know our current state like in, at the in the long run it probably wouldn't be like a good end game art i don't think but for now it might be oh i've heard wacky things about brain jack seizes control of the targeted enemy and turns it into an ally apparently you can't do it on like tyrants and mm, i don't think you can do it on story bosses but for like everyone else it can be pretty janky and silly i think now so here's all the set ones Okay, boost allies TP. Um, ah, so this like takes 1,000 of your own TP and gives everyone else 1,000 TP. That's pretty cool, actually. So over skin, grant spare, boost HP and TP when controlling a target, and sometimes destroys a target. Yeah, I've heard some things about the uh, control plus servant sacrifice together. Boost TP and boost potential. Increases the target's TP by 1,000. And gives them more potential for costing 1,000 TP here. But that's only one target. Huh. So the... Uh, yeah, the last stand one seems just way better. Um, yeah, so let's see here. Do you have... You have this aura right now, full specs. So, ether damage and ra randomly removes one buff from the target. So then. Um, yeah, in a similar kind of way, although Klaus is also responsible for the state that he found himself in. Maybe I'll put this on for now, and then, like... The damage randomly is one buff from the target. Hmm. Maybe I'll put on this brain jack, is what I'll do. And then, like, we can have the aura at the end here. And then we can have, say, I don't know, something like this along that line. Sure. Something like that, or maybe the attacking arts together, actually, like that. I mean, hmm. Maybe something like that might not be a bad combination. Nah. <laughs> I like this order. Alright, time to level things up. Just go ahead and bring them to uh, level 2 first and foremost. Is what I will do. What do you think? Yeah, it might be a thing. I think that Elvis is basically just pieced out Girl Scout at this point. When it comes to the Xenoblade story. Alright. Let's get them all up to level 3 first. And then I'll check her skills. Before I level up there anymore. So skills. Because, yeah... Yeah, I have nothing on there. So you can do inner search right now to boost potential. I need to recall exactly what potential means. Grants 80% chance of not waking a sleeping enemy when attacking with an art. Ah, for the uh, sleep thing or above. So it's probably like a, uh, it's probably like Melia's thing or above. But yeah, let's see here. When I recently thought about what each Xenoblade Chronicles exceeds in, you came to the personal conclusion Xenoblade Chronicles 1 is the best lore, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is the best characters, and Xenoblade Chronicles X the best world. Would you agree? Would you agree? Or would you name different aspects? Um, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 I probably agree with Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and X Xenoblade Chronicles 2 I'd probably just say it has the best music is what I would say people can fight me for that but I'd say Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is the best music I'd say that's the most standout part of it to me because I'm a big I'm a big music fan kind of person um, boost the HP recovery of one of the party members you revive by 30% you might not be doing a whole lot of reviving though that might be pretty handy there, but, uh, since sleep effect by 10 seconds, nice. We can't put any of these on right now, but I mean, reduces enemy control resistance by 10% and raises debuff tier by 1. Ah. King's Decree. Boost damage to sleeping enemies by 50%. Unpleasant dream. Um, grants all abilities up 1 to enemies under your control. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I'll just bring these up a couple levels for now. And then go back to your arts. 
at the moment. Yeah, I should have done this forever ago. That's what I should have done. So I can probably get them all up to level 4, right? I mean... Let's see here. Yeah, so all up to level 4. And then I'm gonna need more to uh, do more than that. Oh! There we go! There we go. That's pretty good there, right? But yeah, the, it's, the entire series does definitely have really solid music and whatnot. Definitely for sure. And yeah, it just seems like that could well be the case there, Guzma, especially with Xenoblade 3 stuff. Okay. All right. Now we should be more at the ready than we have ever been before. Let's go do this boss that I haven't even attempted yet, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to do. Fingers crossed. Hopefully this one judo in here doesn't just like ruin my day. No. Do I need to talk to you or something? Dang, I actually do need to fight you. Gosh darn it. Oh, the screen's going crazy. Screw it. I'm doing this. Okay. Because I'm sketched out after the last attempt, so I'm just going straight into this. I don't think Violent Street can hit anybody else. Don't think any of the other enemies are close enough. Okay. Ow, my eyes. I can't see anything. Holy crap. Okay. Okay. Okay, we should be fine, right? Now that I'm using overdrive here. Can I target the other appendage? Nice. Can even make sure that that's targeted. Yeah, I think I basically do have to use overdrive on this dude, though. Is the thing. Like, I'm too sketched out about, you know, doing it normally. Is kind of the thing. Look, and it'll even bring us back up to our max TP again, so it's fine. So it's fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> but yeah. Xenoblade Chronicles X is very, very different music. Oh, sweet. Level up. All right. I don't know if there will be a boss battle when we talk to you. We should be strong enough for it, I hope. We'll see. We'll see. Hi. No. No, get away from me. Don't come any closer. No, stay back. Um. Calm down, huh? Oh, right. You, you're here for me? Thank goodness. But they... Gret is... <laughs> Those monsters, they... Um... Let's just evacuate. No, not until I've made them pay. You have to kill those prone. Kill all of them. What is this? The voice in Shulk said. That's what she kept me alive to do. They dragged her off. All her pieces. Like they were going to use her for something. I think they had some kind of orders to do that. Please. I can't just run away. I'm begging you. Find those prone and their boss. And give them what they deserve. What gave them what they gave Gret? Where did I get deserve from? And them. And them all. Okay. Wait. Oh, I'm not clicked on the game. Whoops. So it is still in the cave, I guess. But yeah, let's just see here. Um. Oh yeah, I do. Uh, I do recall seeing that indeed, Guzma. That was a very interesting thing that I wasn't expecting to be in a magazine. What? Where? Okay, if I turn off the doggy cam, it's showing like up around here, but like, this doesn't lead anywhere. The map looks like it leads somewhere, but it just doesn't. I'm very confused. Wait. Oh. Okay, I, it still doesn't lead there, but I see that they're over there now, so I just gotta like cross over and stuff. I wish that when you saved, it saved like your TP as well. I wish. But yeah, in your opinion, this game also handles side quests the best by tying them deeper into the lore of the world, for sure. And I feel like the side quests are the best in the Xenoblade series in, like, more ways than that, even. Like, it'll, in this game, you don't have to worry about, like, timed side quests, for example, like you do in Xenoblade 1 and 2. That's another example. I don't think there's any timed side quests in this game, as far as I recall. Um, yeah, Explorers of Sky really is a special game. It's been really cool to see, like, so many people really enjoying the Explorers of Sky series that's been ongoing recently on the channel. Whoa! Huh, okay. No! Stop fighting me! Because I need to fight these guys if I can get far enough away from... Gosh! Diggity! Darn it! Alright, this is gonna end terribly. I don't care. Let's do it. Ah, oh, my eyes! Alright, everybody's coming into the mix now because I'm using Violent Streak. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, like, right now. This is awful. Look how much my count went up already. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm 
this is actually so dumb. There's so many enemies. What do I do? Gosh dang it, now I gotta build up my TP again. I hate this. Yeah, I'd say the quests in this game are definitely way better than one and two, free monumentally. Ugh, I gotta build up my TP again. So annoying. Well. I'm just gonna let that get to the secondary cooldown. So I'm gonna do... Sure, Ghost Walker, even though it's not super important here. <laughs> if only there was an easier way for me to uh, build up my TP here. I don't know why the screen's flashing like crazy. I could always try restarting the game and see if that uh, helps fix things or something. But, I mean... Pew, pew, pew. Man. Man, oh man. Uh, yeah, I might try restarting it shortly after this. Holy crap, this actually hurts my eyes so badly. All right, you know all those times that I say that I think the advantages outweigh the disadvantages of playing this on semi rather than my actual Wii U? Am I starting to have second thoughts, I wonder? Am I maybe starting to have second thoughts about this? Hmm, well, I was thinking about using overdrive there, but nah. I... Ugh, I can't see things. Can't really see things there. No, don't tempt me. Do not tempt me. Do not tempt me, thought. Um, there's some good quests in Xenoblade 1, 2, but... But must time, they are a bunch of Fetcher battle... Or most of the time, I assume that is. They are Fetcher battling quests. Xenoblade Chronicles has lesser but deeper quests. Yeah, that has, like, their own characters that you see, like, develop in different ways and such and it makes you they each have like their own little mini story behind them and stuff that gets you kind of intrigued and stuff but yeah um yeah the blade quests were really good in xenoblade chronicles 2 the blade quests in that game were probably the closest thing that there is to uh you know the more standard quests of this game all right i'm gonna restart that's what i'm gonna do really quickly see if that fixes anything Let's see your save complete See if that helps things along. It might not, but just on the off chance it does, I will, uh, I'll see here. Because, yeah, if it's just those few prone together, I might be able to do it as long as my, uh, as long as my teammates take, like, the initial set of hits before, uh, you know, as we whittle it down to, like, less than the three or whatever the heck. And then, uh, wait, why did I just build up my TP and then save and restart the game? When you freaking save and restart the game, you lose all your TP. I'm so dumb. I needed to save and restart before building up my TP. I'm actually so dumb. Hello, hello, Twitch boy, J. Miggy. Hope you're doing well today. Things are pretty all right here. I've been losing my mind over a video essay project that I've been working on recently, delving into the world of a, a freaking NFT game that I'm super, super sketched out by, but, you know, not a lot of people are covering, so I'm just gonna, just gonna make a video on it and its freaking sketchiness. So, uh, never thought that I'd be making a video on, like, NFTs and the metaverse, but I've been losing my mind currently over a game that is basically like a Pokemon fan game. It's Pixelmon. It's the same name as the Minecraft mod. And, uh, well, all the Pokemon are NFTs, or all the Pixelmon are NFTs. Um, it claims to be a metaverse game. It uses loot boxes with the Pokemon eggs. Basically, just a whole bunch of really, really sketchy stuff all rolled up into one. Essentially, in one handy dandy care package. Nah, that didn't fix the flashing. I just wasted all my TP for no reason. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Whatever. Boopity bop. Stab, stab. Yeah, at least I can build up my TP relatively quickly here. Oh, dang, I got another one in the mix. Just for the soul voice, even though it's not from the back. Whatever. I could always run from the battle once my TP's all the way up or something. Once I get there. I mean, I'm almost there. Yeah, I'm there. Wait, no, nah, I'll, I'll take out you because you're really close anyway, and then I'll run. Oh man, I'm kind of stunned that the backslash wasn't enough. There we go. There we go, I'm out of here. But yeah, like, uh, oh, what was her name? I know who you're referring to there, Guzma. Felt so goddamn uncomfortable by a made you want to shoot out of existence, not literally, but you did not like it. Oh, you were using that as an example for characters. I thought you said you liked her, is what you were saying at first. What the heck was her name again? It was Dahlia. That's what her name was. I'm remembering now. Now I'm remembering. <laughs> that was uh, that was certainly something. Like, I don't mind developers designing characters the way that they want to design the characters. But if 
it's crossing a line where it starts to make me uncomfortable, then uh, yeah, that's a bit far. I feel like Dolly is a good example of that. Where, like, there... Like, there's making attractive characters, and then there's making characters that are literally just, like, time to be uncomfortable 101, essentially, you know? And Dahlia in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is a character that's just how to make you feel uncomfortable 101. Yeah, okay. Pokemon Strat published the game. You want to see the stands defend it? What, Pixelmon? Yo, there are some really diehard people in the NFT space. I wouldn't be surprised if me making that video got, like, more... Well, not more people mad than uh, my Pokemon video essay, but, you know... A similar audience of people hating me. You could, uh, you could say. I wouldn't be surprised. Ah, uh, there's really no good way to get over here, is there? There just really isn't. How is this not far enough away? How is this not far enough away? How is this not far enough away? This is actually the stupidest thing. The only way I can do it. The only way I see myself being able to do it is if I take out all the enemies along the way as I run into them. And the only way that I can do that is with overdrive. That's also the thing. Yeah. Be sure to aggro both of them. Because I'm quite under leveled for that area. Is the thing. But I can win fights if I use overdrive. Is the thing. So as long as I play it patiently, slow and steadily, and take them all out, like, one by one, along with Overdrive, then I should be able to build up enough TP to continue getting through the area. And it should, in theory, be possible. But coming up, this will be my last attempt with that new strategy, with my slow and, my slow and steady attempt, is what it'll be. It does also mean that, this, that the game is gonna probably glitch out even more. <laughs> and be even crazier than it currently is is unfortunately the case, but sacrifices must be made. Yeah, let's see here. Like the quest, but the characters and the way they gave the certain camera angles was the physics was not okay, you think so? Only really felt uncomfortable with Pyra. Unfortunately, she came so early that you actually dropped the game, really? So you came back to it later, I imagine, and then was like, okay, this game is really good. Maybe, I hope, was that what happened? Hello, Lower Spurs Eyes. Is making a character sexy and is making characters that try too hard to be sexy and not being sexy just hard to look at? Yeah, I feel like that's a good way to put it. I'm fine with freaking making characters in video games that are sexy characters, but when you, uh, try to, like, over-accentuate it to the point that it's just completely discomforting, then that's, then that's a bit of a line there where it's like, okay, making this character the way that you have has not enhanced my gameplay experience. It's just, it's detracted from it, you know, is, uh, is the case with that. It's just like, it just made my gameplay experience feel weird and stuff. Like, I remember when I first started, uh, like, doing content creation, there was a few different games that I played on this channel, but I was like, you know what? When, when I was first starting out, like, clearly this changed later down the line. But when I first started out, I was like, no way I'm ever doing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Like, just for, like, some scenes, you know? It's, a uh, because, like, the level of embarrassment that would come with, a. Uh, you know, streaming out that game, considering some of the, some of the moments, but yeah, let's see here. When you got the certain unique blade unlocked, once you knew it was a female, you immediately walked away and waited for the animation to finish because you did not want to see it. Really? It got to that point, Guzma? Most females in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 are designed okay, though. Also had biases after me and Pyra. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, or to anything, really, lean too far into some type of design and end up making them counterintuitive what they're trying to be. Yeah, so I guess you really can't say about any kind of, any kind of thing or Bob there. When I first picked up Xenoblade 2, I absolutely no idea what it was about or what the characters were, or even what the world was. I knew a whole bunch because I loved Xenoblade 1 already and I looked into Xenoblade 2 as much as I could. When not, indeed, only played up to the end of Chapter 2 and didn't really like the game. Then you play it later. Absolutely fell in love with the characters. Have I had any games that I've come back to that I've, uh, that I hated at first and then love later? I think Bravely Default might well have been the, may well have been that kind of case. But when I first saw Pyra, I got to the part where she said, now please it on my chest, I ended up regretting your decision, but I ended up continuing anyway, I enjoyed it overall. Well, that's good to hear. I think I actually do need to kill the enemies on the way in order to, uh, in order to do stuff here. Okay, so, um, okay. I'm going to use Sliding Slinger immediately rather than, uh, I'm a little bit sketched out about using Violent Street because this other one's going to come into the mix. Screw it, I'm doing it anyway. I'm doing it anyway. Ah, 
Uh, it's so hard to see things. This is like hard mode Xenoblade Chronicles X just because Semyu is a perfect platform with no bugs or flaws whatsoever. Holy crap. Ah! Oh, I gotta keep an eye on that. I almost lost track of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ghost Walker right now. Ghost Walker right now. Ghost Walker right now. Dang it! I forgot to use Ghost Walker! More enemies came into the mix than I was expecting, and I forgot to spam Ghost Walker. Uh, I'm example for you, Raikou in FGO. No idea what that is. Um, bit too too big in some areas and winds up not being sexy. Also, wouldn't call her that great of a character either, outside of the one story singularity. And gameplay is mid, so she doesn't have anything going for you. I have no idea what FGO is. I'm sorry to say. I apologize. I'm not quite familiar with it. Man, the amount of times that we've killed this one dude over and over again. Is uh, certainly something. Dang, I just missed the soul voice. But yeah, let's see here. I then tried playing Xenoblade 1 that we couldn't ever make it past the spider part, no matter how hard you try, but when Definitive Edition came out, you made another attempt and got through it so much easier than the Wii version. The spooter's not that bad, though. Are, are you telling me you're boosted, Guzma? No, uh, you give Mithra her Smash outfit, which makes her look great in your opinion? I mean, yeah, the, uh, I think they're fine either way, like with Pyra and Mithra when it comes to their outfits, whether it's like Smash or not. Like, it is a little bit on the line, but but mostly all right, in my view, at least. But, uh, boop, boop, fake grand order, the gotcha game. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. I've heard that name before. I know, like, nothing about it, but I've heard the name before. Well, um, there. Overdrive's at the ready now. All right, I'll give this one more attempt here and try to like spam Ghost Walker a bit more. I could just like not use Violent Streak until later on in the fight and just use Sliding Slinger to build up my count. It would be a bit sketchy though, but I could definitely try it. Because the whole reason that those other enemies came into the mix was because of Violent Streak is the thing. Um, but yeah, really it's just that that tipped the scale for you, Guzma? I don't feel like that kind of aspect would be able to like tip the scale for me in terms of uh, me enjoying a video game myself. Open fire. Follow me. Okay, well. Okay, glad that that's still from the side. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, really be using a bunch of Ghost Walker here is what I am gonna have to do. Ah, oh, my eyes. Don't tempt me, Violent Streak. I'll use it towards the end of the battle, I think, is what I'll do. But not at this point. But not at this point. I'll just hold on to this for as long as I can here. Okay. Okay. Okay, I need to be spamming Ghost Walker a lot more. Okay, now I'll get in here and use Violent Streak. Is what I'll do. Okay. Okay, that was a bit overkill there. I probably didn't need to do that. Okay. Okay. Can I get any other enemies in the mix here? Because I may as well do so while I have, like, max count instead of having to, like, start it over again, you know? And there goes Elma. Thank goodness that wasn't me going off the edge as well. Whoops, I didn't actually mean to redo overdrive there. I just wasted all my TP. Actually, I didn't waste a whole lot. We're actually completely fine. Okay, I heard another enemy come in the mix. I think one of those plant things. I think, right? Okay, I got, yeah, there it is. Yeah, I gotta be using Ghost Walker a decent bit because I keep on forgetting, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Okay, and there's another enemy in the mix over there, which is pretty handy. All right, let's not slide off the edge because that would suck. I feel like I almost did there. That would have been really awful. Elma might go down. I hope that doesn't happen. Oh, dang, I didn't quite get the soul voice. Sucks to suck. Dang it. I won't be able to read chat here for a little bit because I'm trying to, like, concentrate on things here, but I promise I'll get the things in a little bit here. I promise. Okay, there goes Elma. Now it's just Lin and me. Okay, um... This is fine, right? This is fine, right? Why have I not put on my aura? Why do I keep forgetting about this aura? Aura will make this much better. Ah, my eyes! Ah, yes, Ghost Walker. Oh, Elma got revived. Oh, yeah, I guess I can technically revive, especially while I'm building up as much TP as I am. 
Yeah, I should probably, uh, I should probably do that. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, who am I targeting now? Whoever you are. Ow, my eyes. This is actually like playing Xenoblade Chronicles X in hard mode. Holy crap. Like, my goodness. Yeah, it really does not like overdrive. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna need to use Ghost Walker here again in a hot second. Okay, I don't know where Arena is, but whatever. Oh, well, um. Okay, um. This is fine, right? Okay, I need to use Ghost Walker some more. Come on. Soul Voice. Yes. Where are my other allies? Oh, there's Lin. Oh, I took some damage there. Dang it! Well, I tried. I tried. It's really hard to see. I tried my best there.